a bit quiet. I can I can fix that, I think. Well, hold on. Is this better? How's this one? Totolino, hello. Welcome. Is this is this louder and a good volume? Okay, good. Yay, thank you for the troubleshooting help. Thanks everyone. So now I can actually say I realized that the video is very fuzzy, so hopefully you can enjoy the, the, I don't know, is this like an 80s sort of fuzziness or something, or 90s TV sort of fuzz? <laughs> anyway, and now I can say the audio hopefully makes up for it. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Anyway, so one of my missions while I'm here in Indonesian Borneo is to... Um, what's it called? To make it a, a bug book, because there, there are not a lot of bug books here. Or if any, really. There aren't many resources on learning about the bugs in the area. So, the picture is miniature anyway. Alright, cool. Um, I did find a bug book at the store that I have not opened yet, and I thought I'd open it here on Twitch so we can all take a look together and see. It's in English. If it were in Indonesian, it would say buku saranga. Buku means book. Saranga means insect in Indonesian. Uh, so it is not a... I mean, it does have Indonesian on the back of it. It's interesting how, like, it's kind of seems sometimes random of when they go with English versus when they go with um, Indonesian around here. <gasps> It doesn't even tell me this, guys. I just I just opened it and what is inside? But it's it's a sticker book. It did not tell me that. Is it all stickers? Let's see. It's all stickers. Wow, they didn't even say sticker on the cover. Okay, <laughs> interesting. So yeah, it's a. It's a sticker book. I thought it might be, if anything, I was expecting it to be like an empty. Oh, okay. I can make us. We can make a habitat with this sticker book. Interesting. Although it doesn't look. I wonder what city this is. <laughs> Generic city. Okay, interesting. It's a. It's a. It's kind of cool how it has bugs, and then you can put them in the urban environment, or you can put them in the countryside. Very nice. <laughs> very cool um and obviously the bugs have human faces on them as and the flowers too as we humans like to do but very cute very sweet it's a book that has invertebrates and it's a start um oh at the this fly here they do ha seem to have almost three body parts which is okay let's see do they stick permanently or are they rearrangeable i will try the grass i will start with the grass i think they're not the rearrangeable decal kinds i think that they are the kind that stick and stay put but they don't feel super strong at the same oh these ones it's funny how they're different styles too there's the big eye style which is probably more accurate entomologically. And then there's the little tiny face, smiley face style. So pretty cute. I like them. Oh, and I like how it has a leaf bit bite with a bite out of it. That's nice too. I'll probably bring these to the village and share them with the kids. Um, yeah, nice snail. Yeah, I'll bring them with me to, to the village um, on... Saturday I go back to the research station where I can't live stream and I will distribute to the children of Trapung, the town. Um, yeah. I'll put I'll put a bug on my face though for now, for good luck. But they're all pretty big, so they don't wouldn't really fit on my face very easily, so scratch that. <laughs> yeah, they're all too big. They have a mosquito here as well, and, and like a, they're like somewhat identifiable. And in this one, if we're talking, since I'm, cr I can't help but critique the anatomy. 
Um, the bees are pretty good. These wasps are decent. They have the legs coming from the thorax. Uh, yeah, that's decent when it comes to accuracy. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I think the best way to follow me these days is iNaturalist. Um, put my grass right here. Yay! I can show you guys a bug, even though it's not going to look very clear. I can try to show you a bug. But it's a dangerous bug, so I need to be careful. But I also need to move it away from the entrance. Oh, it's holding on to its me old meal. Okay, the container is a little gross, but it's not really going down. Safety first with this bug. Okay. Um, so this is one of the more dangerous bugs that are that's in the forest here, and I'll have to just take a picture and send it, post it on Twitter or something afterward because I know the, the video is really bad. But here is a giant centipede um, in a container. It's purple, but it's hard to see. So I need to just show you guys later on Twitter probably. And I'll, maybe I'll put out my Instagram story too. Okay, thanks for popping by and quickly saying hi, Frank. Well, it's lovely. I really appreciate it. Good to, good to see you in the chat. Have a good time at work. Um, but yeah, this has like blue legs. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like blue legs. It's also in there with its recent prey, which is a grasshopper. But blue legs, like a purple body, it's a really wild bug. And then the antenna there are orange. It's really cool. And blue is like a really special color in the forest here. It definitely is a warning coloration. Um, so... This, if it bit you, is super dangerous, and yeah, it's venomous, definitely. It would make you, it'd make a person sick for like, um, maybe a day, but like up to three days. And there's a funky story where one of the locals, they, it probably doesn't like the light. One of the locals, sorry, not a local, one of the researchers got bit by one. And then one of the locals, uh, like, came to take care of it and to, like, they, they killed it with a parang, which is the word for machete. And then the, the local went to kick it away, but he went to kick it away with his bare foot and he got bit and it, and it envenomated him and he was sick for three days. So you have to be careful. <laughs> yeah. Totally no. It's funny that you say that because guess what I found in my bed during one rainy evening? So it wasn't this one specifically. It was a different species. But yes, I did find, I, I guess, I'm, I'm definitely going to make a blog post about this at some point too. But yeah, I, I woke up because I got bit by one. And it was rainy night so it probably was like trying to escape the water levels rising in the swamp forest and um yeah i was sound asleep and then all of a sudden i sat up with my eyes wide open because i had gotten bit and i didn't know what it was right away i was like it's either a centipede or like a spider or something like yikes and i looked around and saw a giant centipede like this one running around inside my mosquito net and of course the first thing I did <laughs> well was I had to identify what had bit me because once you have that knowledge knowledge is power you know what to do how to take action what to be careful about so I saw it and I quickly grabbed a container sort of like a same the same as this container but a different con container and immediately tried to catch it and I was able to catch it luckily for the collection <laughs> and then I just like ran downstairs because I was like what do I do to keep the venom from affecting me and I went and knocked on the professor's door who was there who had just been talking about these scolopendra the centipedes the day before and she didn't wake up even though I was like knocking and saying Erin 
um, but I didn't, like, I don't know, I wasn't going to knock the door down to get her. So I just went back to the kitchen area and I was like, okay, okay, okay. Like, I've heard hot water can denature um, venom, I think, right? Because it has proteins in it. So I took some of the thermos that has the hot water that we use for tea and coffee and just put some in a cup and then just poured it on my ankle, which is where I had been bitten. You could see the two drops of blood coming from where the fangs had sunk in and it hurt but I was like hopefully this will help and then our cook she had heard me running around and she came out and I told her what happened in Indonesian and uh, uh, she went over and started chopping garlic and told me to put garlic on it and so hot water and garlic is what was tried and then one of the other researchers woke up and came over and I explained what happened and but I didn't feel venom. Like, I didn't feel anything other than the puncture wound and just the adrenaline of being like, oh my gosh, I have to do something. Yikes. And in the end, I was fine. It was not, it was not a bite that had venom in it. It was a dry bite. I super lucked out. And um, some of the local... Indonesian locals, Dayak locals were like, you're strong. And I'm like, no, I'm just lucky. It's not being strong. I'm not, my body is not fighting venom. It's just straight up luck. <laughs> yeah, hot water and garlic. Were they just trying to make an Issa casserole? Asks David Howden. <laughs> um, yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think garlic is known to help with venom. But you know what? It probably helps with preventing a secondary infection, which oftentimes is an issue in cases like this. So I just knew it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> um, and yeah, then I just like did the regular work day. That was at like one or two in the morning when I got bit. And then I went back to sleep, like really being like, oh my gosh, what's tomorrow going to be like? But once again, no venom, no feeling sick. It was super lucky. Um, I don't know the word for lucky here, otherwise I'd share it, but mengigit is the word for it bit me. Oh, okay. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, beware of the centipedes, but if you're lucky, you might not be bit, you might just get a dry bite. Okay, I have to run, you guys, because I have a, the calendar, the photo Entomology Society of America photo calendar meeting now, which is it's a one p.m. meeting in Eastern time, but right now it's midnight. So happy new day! It's April fourteenth here in Borneo, officially. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna run off to the meeting. But if you are someone who likes to take pictures of bugs, consider submitting your photo to the Entomology Society of America calendar. Committee. I'm gonna drop the link and then go. Um, uh, calendar 2023 submit entomology. I'm looking up the link to share. World of Insects calendar pictures are due on May 4th. All right, here's the link. Anyway, so great to see you all here, Todovino, David. Martin and Frank who went back to work so take care and um, I will uh, I'm gonna try to take a picture of the centipede but I'm also it's also very very tricky because they can be fast so we'll see we'll see what I can do okay good to see you I'll try not to get bit <laughs> yeah, that's it's most risky when it rains and it's almost the end of the rainy season, so I think we'll be okay. Um okay. Bye guys. Take care. Slam oh, sampai jumpa until next time. <laughs>